Marco Fujimura, I'm an artist, and this is my church, All Saints uh, Princeton. I'm happy to be an artist participating in worship. Uh, uh, as a visual artist, it's not too often that you get to do that. And uh, this church has uh, been a home for over six, seven years now. And um, it's, it's, it's been an amazing journey of finding uh, a church that uh, really emphasizes beauty and you know, excellence. In, in the arts, so I'm, I'm grateful for that. So my story is very peculiar. It'll take a long time to tell, but I'll, I'll shorten it. Um, so I was uh, involved in a project that um, involved TSA, the Eds for Quartets, and, and I was in Hong Kong, and the professor there said, oh, my husband loves four quartets, and he taught some of that uh, in uh, Sunday school. So I contacted him, and he was in Princeton. <laughs> so this, this man said, well, let's meet, and, uh, but I'm very busy. I, I, I only have Tuesday mornings where, uh, when I go to a man's group, and I said, that's fine, because I'm looking for man's group. I just moved to Princeton, and uh, so he said, well, let's meet there. And um, I ended up in this man's group. That I, I didn't know that this man's group belonged to All Saints. I, I just thought it was a man's group, and uh, Bible study and so forth. Um, so I participated in several weeks, and it was beginning of Holy Week, so I said, you know, hey, do you guys know a good church where there's Ash Wednesday service and 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 they were like why don't you just go to our church you know and and I said oh your church okay so what, what church is it and they said all saints and Rector Hugh um, <clears throat> did the service and afterwards he said uh, does anybody want a cat <laughs> and I said uh, that's interesting, you know, church announcement uh, about this meandering cat that just walked in and got lost. And two weeks later, the, uh, the, then the choir director uh, adopted this cat and named it Elliot. <laughs> so, so when I found that out, I felt the, you know, God was speaking to me through this lost cat. I, I, I often feel like a lost cat as, as an artist. I, I don't fit into uh, many other conventional categories of being a Christian, being an artist, and you know, the church, I, I am a, actually part of uh, this uh, movement of church planting uh, that I've been part of uh, called Redeemer Presbyterian Church. So I'm not even an Episcopalian, but when I came in, what I felt was this hospitality and welcome uh, through the man's group and through everyone here. But I, I seriously felt like that cat meandering lost. Um, and <clears throat> when I came, the level of hospitality and the welcome was palpable to me. When these walls were built um, as a new, new part of the new sanctuary extension that they've been planning for a while, but they really didn't complete this until after I came. And so when they showed me the space and they saw all the, the two walls, um, which architecture is supposed to extend into the, uh, the forest beyond, and that's the vision of this church, is that this church will send people outside but the problem is, if you don't have anything on it, uh, the, the eye stops at the wall, you know. Um, and so as a visual artist sitting in, 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 you know, in, 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 in the pews, I came in every week like, oh, I, I know what to do. I'm, I'm often, I guess, shell-shocked with churches not wanting to do anything visual because of various reasons. 
and but I finally got the courage to talk to some people, um, including Rector Hugh, and um, it, it was incredible how welcoming they were to the idea and how you know not only welcoming it's one thing to allow an artist to do something but another to um, you know have the congregation be part of the conversation that my art may in, you know engender and uh, the the resulting the richness of the conversation indicated that this church is truly a culture care church, that there is something very unique about this church, so the hospitality extends to beauty, uh, and, and that, that beauty is part of the excellence of everything from the choir uh, to worship. And when I read the mission statement of All Saints Church, um, that this is, in, uh, you know, intended to be a hospitable church, welcoming all people, and then, um, then you know, valuing artistic excellence. You know, I, I was actually stunned because, and I told this when I, you know, taught a class here. I said, you know, this church is the first church that I've been to where the mission statement is actually true. It's usually a projection, you know, like when you're planting a church, your mission statement is what you want to become. Well, All Saints Church is the most hospitable church. It is, it is a church that honors excellence uh, and artistic expressions, and, and I, I, I find that as an artist not only um, remarkable, I, I think it's miraculous. Um, and um, so all that to say, um, I, I do feel like a meandering cat to coming in as an artist, but um, this, is a, uh, this is a church that welcomes these lost meandering cats. <laughs> but here, I think what this church is able to do is, is to see everybody as artwork of God, uh, beautiful, created um, in Christ to be a masterpiece already in Christ, a new creation. It's a very empowering church. So, you know, whoever comes in, I think, feels that, that there's a movement of generosity here that actually empowers people. Um, and at the same time, you know, it, it, is, it is a liturgical tradition, so there's um, solid regularity to everything that is being done. Uh, I'm, I'm delighted to be part of this community. I am Mako Fujimura, I'm an artist, and I'm part of uh, a member at All Saints Church.